Borida Nursery. Give us a wave. Say Borida. Oh, I think I heard you then. A bit louder. Oh, definitely heard you then. Well done. Good morning. How are you? Um, should we do Borida song? Yeah? You sing it with me. It's easy. Ready? Borida, Borida, Borida E.T. Borida, Borida, Borida E.T. Borida to you. Good morning to you. Now then. Peppa's here today. She's a bit happier because she's uh, just been for a walk, but now she's biting her foot. So I'll put me off a bit, I expect. Never mind, let's do days of the week, click, click one, yeah? Sam, you gotta help me. Hope, you gotta help me. Here we go. So we start with Sunday, remember? And yesterday was Monday, so listen, what comes after Monday? All right? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Oh, my click's quite good today, actually, but thank you for JR clicking as well. Uh, right, Mom, should my tower with Heather? Mine, hi, Nog, again, having some lovely weather, my brav. Hack, mine, hi, Nog. And a little bit, my Wintog as well. But not too bad, not too bad. So, another nice day. Okay, should we have a spoon song? Let's get this. Oh, spoon. Talk more about that in a minute. Let's have a look. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> I think I'll do it sitting down today as Sam will shout at me. You can, you can stand up though. Are you ready? Are you up? Here we go. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Are you marching? Are you down again? Excellent. Well done. We like that one, don't we? Um, especially who always picks that one? Uh, Leo J, you always pick that one if you're watching, so that's especially for you. Okay, so let's have a think about what we did yesterday. We were thinking about sounds and letters, weren't we? And can you remember the sound that we were especially thinking of? It was s. And you had to try and find some things that started with that sound. Well, I've seen a few so far. Uh, let me think, I've seen Isla, she was in her garden, she found lots of things outside that started with s. Uh, Lillian had lots of things in a trolley that started with s, and one of them was her brother Sam. He wasn't in the trolley, he was next to the trolley, so well done. Um, Holly, Holly found 15 things altogether that started with s, amazing. Um, and Ethan, he found some fantastic things, and the best thing of all was a big sponge cake. That was my favourite, a sponge cake, and it was this big. Oh, it looked delicious. I hope it tasted nice as well. And I'm sure lots more of you have done that as well, and I will try and answer everybody that sends me a, a picture. I'll try and answer, so you know that I'm looking at what you're doing, so that's fantastic. Now, we're going to do a bit more about lettuce today. And you always like this job. So I've got a bag. It's Billy's bag again. Wait a minute. Oh, poor old Billy. Throw him out of his bag. And I've got some things in the bag, but they don't all start with s today. Okay. So we'll get them out. We'll decide if they sound like they start with s. If they do, we'll put them over on my settee. Uh, and if they don't, you know where they have to go, don't you? Behind my back. So I hope there's no hedgehogs in there because I really don't want a prickly hedgehog behind my back. But we'll see what's there. So are you ready? Um, mm. Can you see what that is? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Say that word, say it slowly, listen to the first sound, ready? Spaghetti. Does it start with s? Yes, it does. If you said yes, well done. I'm going to put this one over there. 
Hopefully you can't see it then, because we're going to have to remember what there was later. Okay, let's have another look. Oh, who was that peeping out then? Did you see? It's really Teddy. You say Teddy, or you can say Bear. I'm going to say Teddy. Ready? Teddy. Say that word. Teddy. Did that word start with a s sound? No, it didn't, did it? No, because if it did, it would be a seddy, and that's not right, is it? So where's he got to go? Behind my back. Now he's nice and soft, so I don't mind him. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's nice. That's like a cushion. Lovely. Um, <clears throat> Can you see what's in there? Strawberries. Say that word. Strawberries. Does it start with a s? Strawberries. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Strawberries. You can hear that s sound. So they're going over there. I'm glad they won't come up and pan the back. Oh, another fruit. But this time, apple. Apple. Say that word. Ah. Starts with ah, uh, doesn't it? Not be a sapple. Well, that's not right. So that's going on my bow. Oh no, it's a bit lumpy, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh, 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 a bit spiky there. Uh, let's have a look. What's next? Oh, what that is. Push that, comes out there. Soap starts with a. Starts with this, and I know some of you found soap when you were looking for things. Pop that there. Balance them. Need a table. Um, right, you might like this to eat. Oh, you see what that is? Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Say that word. Sweet corn. Starts with. Starts with s s sweet corn. Pop that over there. Lots of yummy things to eat today in this bag. Right, these are Sam's. Don't tell him. Sunglasses. Say that word. S sunglasses. Does it start with a s Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, it does. Sunglasses starts with a s There's one more. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Folk. Folk. Say that word. Folk. Does that start with a s? No, it doesn't, does it? Well, that would be a sork. Well, that's not right. Sork. So that means it's got to go there. And that's a bit spiky. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'll just pop it there. It won't hurt me, I don't think. Oh! Oh dear. That was a bit spiky. I think I better get it out again. So we'll put those back. That didn't start with us, did it? And ooh, that didn't start with us. And Teddy didn't start with us. But these things did. Right. So something you use to wash your hands that starts with s. What could that be? Well done if you said soap. Well done. Um. Something that starts with s that you use to look after your eyes when the sun's out, so they don't get too bright. You think? Sunglasses. Sam's sunglasses. Oh, I should have put Sam in the bag. Something you like to eat. I like to eat. It's yellow and small. And this is in a tin. Sweet corn. Did you remember? Okay, there's two more. One is something else to eat. It's very long and thin, and you have to cook it in hot water before you can eat it. Can you hear it? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. And one more, something else to eat, something red, cold, and delicious. It's a fruit, can you guess? Strawberries. S -s 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 
strawberries. So there we are. So now I need you to do a little job. It's a bit like this. I've got your worksheet and I'm going to put the link for this. I'll, I'll put it on the tweet and I'll put it with um, the video as well on YouTube. So we've got a worksheet. It's a lot like the ones um, I've got in school, but I didn't bring those with me. So I've had to find another one, but it's fine. So what you do is um, you have to look for the things that start with and colour them in, but be careful as I'm trying to trick you here because some of them don't start with s and if they don't start with s, you don't colour them, okay? So you've got to think really carefully now. Don't just colour everything in. You've got to say the word and listen if it starts with a s and this is a letter s and we're going to talk more about writing that letter tomorrow, okay? So there's your worksheet. You can print it off. If you've got a bit of trouble printing anything off, Mums and dads could just have a look and draw the same things. You know, I'm sure your drawings are fabulous, better than this. And then they can try, but it's just to get them listening to what those words start with. Okay. Um, in fact, mums and dads and grown-ups that are with you can keep checking. They can keep asking you um, just things around your house. Does this start with this? And you're going to have to listen to the word, aren't you? And, and see if you can hear that first sound. And children have got to learn to do that when they're, when they're learning to write. Before you can write, you've got to be able to listen to the sounds in words. So that's really, really important. So if mum and dad can play that game, that'll be fabulous. Now then, on to counting now and our numbers. Because, you know, we've got to keep being able to count. When we're ready for reception, we're going to be able to do fabulous counting. So what about if we start today? We'll go from one up to ten but we'll do it in Welsh today okay so we're doing our Welsh a little bit and we're doing our counting so barod okay nice and loud so I can hear you okay here we go in dai tree pedwa pimp quech saith oith now deg did you do all those brilliant excellent now Let's see if we can count up to 20, not in Welsh this time. It's a bit hard for Mrs. Gerard, if I'm honest. We'll see if we can do up to 20. Now, hopefully you've been practicing. Do you remember I sent you that little video with a singing walrus one? Counting up to 20 and they do it quite fast. Um, but it's good for you and it's really good to learn. So if you've been practicing that, well done. If you've done it a couple of times, perhaps do it a couple more. Perhaps I'll send the link again because it's a lovely song and it's really useful especially with fast bits, but we won't go too fast this time. But we won't go too slow either, so try and keep up. So we're going to go from one up to 20. You ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Did you manage it? That was quite fast. Hope you did. Another day when we when our brains are back in gear, we'll, we'll go backwards from 20 down to zero. Okay, but it's just a warmer upper today. Um, now then, I'm thinking of a number. And the number word starts with s. Shall I give you another clue? This number comes after five. And we write this number round in a loop. Do you know? It's number six. That word starts with a s as well. Now, to do this next job, you're going to need six teddies or dollies or little figures. Not too big. I'm going to use silver. Starts with s Sylvanian figures. And you're going to need two little towels, quite small, or two tea towels. And we're going to do a little number job, and I'm going to tell you about that now, okay? Okay, so this is what you're going to need. You're going to need your two towels. I folded mine up, but it doesn't really matter, but they don't need to be big. And they're going to be two beds. One, two. And then you need some little figures. And do you remember that magic number? It was six. Let's just count, make sure I've got six. One, two, three, four, five six okay so we're going to make a little story and i'm going to start the story but you're going to keep the story going okay so the story is that once upon a time it was bedtime bedtime said mommy and all the little creatures need to go to bed uh, but there's six of them and two beds so 
let's find out different ways they can sleep in these two beds. Now, first of all, I'll give you this one. Um, they all decided to sleep in this bed, in the, in the brownie bed, okay? Uh, and nobody went in the, into the white bed. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're all in one bed and none in this bed. So that's one way to share them out between the two beds. Now, but then a uh, little dog with these lovely cute pyjamas, he decided that he was going to go and sleep in the white bed because he was a bit crushed. Okay, so now we've got one animal in the white bed and let's see how many we've got left. We didn't take any animals away and no more animals came to stay. So it's still six altogether, but we know we've got one over here now. So let's count in this bed, ready? One, two, three, four, five. So that's a different way to share them out between the two beds, isn't it? So what I want you to do with your toys is find different ways to share out the six toys into two beds. You can't take any toys away. You've got to have six every time. And you can't put any more in there to make more. So you've got to share your six animals between two beds and find how many different ways you can to do that. Don't forget to count how many. It should always be six altogether, but don't forget to count how many in each bed and see how many different ways you can find. Okay, off you go. So, that's your number job. And you can have fun playing with that and see how many ways you can find. Okay, so it's nearly time to go. I want to do a little shout out to Ethan because Ethan yesterday was listening when I said give me a wave. So as well as sending me a picture of his lovely sounds, sounds that, things that begin with S, Ethan sent me a wave. So thank you, Ethan. That was so lovely. It's so lovely to see you. And I think you're growing really big. So thank you for that. And then just before I say bye, I want to say hello to everybody in Griffith Sound Primary School. But today I want to say a special hello to all the staff. So that's everybody that works there looking after all the children and um, all my friends there. They're all my friends. That's what's nice about Griffithstown School. Everybody there is friends. It's like a big family, really. Yeah, it's like a bit of a school family. So I want to say hello to my school family. And especially today, I want to say hello to Mrs. Witherall. And I want to say we all love you, Mrs. Witherall. And we all think about you all the time. So we're all with you. OK, and I just wanted, really wanted to say that today. OK, everybody, so we'll be back tomorrow and there'll be some more letter work, letters, and we'll see what else as well. OK, so go out and play in the sun now. Have a lovely day and send me lots of pictures. OK, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.